All right, what's up everybody? It's Meredith Scherkwistfeld training and I'm super excited to show you a seven minute at home full body toning workout. We're gonna go through the warm up, the workout and the flow down. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna start with is a warm up. I'm actually gonna just go do this workout and the warm up together so that you can see, go through the warm up, go through the workout, go through the flow down, all of the exercises. So first thing we're doing is good mornings. We're gonna do five of those. So we're gonna start to do those now. Chest up, shoulders back, hands up, come back between your legs. And as you come up, press your hips forward. So I always say, zip your rib cage. I actually want you to release your rib cage here and then come down. So you might hear, a little bit of wind, you might hear a plane in the background, kind of just the way it goes. Good, let's go two more. One, big breath, really press your hips down and back. And last one, two. Next thing we're going is called a bow body. So you're gonna be overlapping your hands. You need to squeeze your ears and you're gonna be reaching from side to side. So we're gonna do five each side. A little bit of bend in the knee. Three, four, five and let's go one more and then just releasing out good and then just drop those arms down right into a wide squat so nice and wide almost like a sumo squat we're just doing five of these chest up shoulders back and we're just squatting and then coming back so if you have knee problems you can go about halfway here so you can go halfway but i really want you to press through your heels so sit down and come up sit down and come up so two more last one and then press Next warm up exercise is our TYI. So we're gonna go five from each position. Down to a T for five, then from a T to a Y for five, and then from a Y to an I for five. Really great for your shoulders and also your core. Make sure that you're really sitting back into those hips so that you don't feel like you're opening up the rib cage or slouch forward. So thumbs up and we're going five here. So one, pull the rib cage in, three, four, five, then stay here. You're going one, two, three, four, five. Then from that Y, one, two, three, four, five, right into hip opens. So you're just releasing that hip up and open. So this is one of the best warm up exercises because it not only gets your core, it actually gets your lower back and your butt. So you want to make sure these are nice and warmed up. So we're gonna be doing some lower body exercises today. Four, really breathe up and over five, six, really pull up that knee, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10, shake it out. So that was your warm up, super quick. Now let's walk through all the exercises. Then we're gonna get into the workout together and go right into that flow down. So a full body workout here. First exercise is a squat punch. Chest up, shoulders back, be down as you come up, you're gonna be rotating. So that's your squat punch. Second one is a belt, a delta, a belt bent over, sorry. So this is what happens when you don't sleep with kids, is that you just mix up your words. You're gonna do a bent over delta. So that means chest up, shoulders back, pressing your hips back, and then reaching. Why it's called a delta is because we're making that triangle with your arms. So you're just pulling back, and we're doing these for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna be doing a knee hover. So. That's almost like a, a beast, what we call like a beast or bear position. So on all fours and you're just gonna press up onto your toes and you're really just hovering your knees. If this is too hard, what I want you to do is make sure that your fingers are nice and spread. And when you do these, you just go up for five seconds and then come down, up for five seconds and then come down. So I wanna make sure that everybody can do these so don't force yourself to be in a bad posture when you're actually doing these. Next is a boxer bounce. So a little bit more of just like an active recovery. Just bouncing back and forth. A little bit of low impact cardio. If this hurts you, you can just step side to side. This is totally fine too. What I want you to do is just stay active when you're doing this. Then we're on the ground for a Superman swimmer. So on your stomach, what you're gonna do is lift your left arm and your right leg. So you're swimming here. Left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. Really connecting your fingertips to your toes. Then we're hopping up into a squat hold or probably what you've seen is a chair pose. So you're sitting and just holding here, really pressing back into your heels. If you come forward, you're gonna get knee pain. So if this is too much for you, just go half squat. I really want you to focus on your heels. 
It's the biggest thing. Please press your heels, because if you don't, you're gonna lean forward. You might fall in, I might fall in the pool, so that's not good. <laughs> Next, we're going angel pumps. Chest up, shoulders back. Pumping those arms. Then we are going a rotating knee to chest. So on your back, so there's a lot of up down, but that's a good thing because I want you guys to get your heart rate up and just transitioning exercises. So just a rotating knee to chest. So this is the first motion. The second motion is just pulling your legs apart and then pulling them open. So rotating and then keeping that core nice and tight, and open, close. So really working on those legs to nice, get them nice and sculpted. Then we are going a knee kickback. So same positioning, I'll switch here so you guys can see on all fours, straightening one leg and just coming straight up, keeping your chest over your hands. And then same thing on the other side. All these exercises are for 30 seconds. So we'll break this one up into 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a flow down. So I actually wanna walk you through that so we can go from the workout straight into the cool down, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna be doing, even though you might think it's still part of the workout is jumping jacks. So you're doing five jumping jacks, okay? Or you can do step jacks, right? You can do step jacks here, same thing. Then we're going right into a predator jack. So predator jack's a little bit more difficult. It's like a squat jump, but you're opening your arms. So starting with your feet, just a little bit wider than shoulder width, and you're gonna jump and open your arms and come down almost to a sumo squat. So from here and jumping down, this is too difficult. What I want you to do is step, step, and then open, step, step. So a little bit more intensive. I still want you to move through this flow down on the ground for a plank around the world. So into your plank position, what you're doing is rotating up and over your arms. If this is too difficult, drop your knees down and do the same thing. Your butt can come up a little bit and then you're rotating forward. So you really, if you're on your knees, pull your belly button in towards your spine when you pull back, because that's what's really gonna work on those deeper core muscles that act as like a girdle. Last exercise is a reverse push-up. So in your push-up position, you're gonna go down and back and not touch your knees to the ground. So down and back. If this is too difficult, what I want you to do is start on all fours and just push down and back into a child's pose. You're gonna be getting the same movement pattern. So we just walked through not only the workout, but also the flow down. So let's go ahead, do all this together. Remember, 30 seconds on and transitioning from each, each exercise, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. So first one we are starting with is that squat punch. Follow me now, going straight through the workout into the flow down, a little bit longer one. So get your water and 30 seconds and go. So down and punch and punch. So really think about being very consistent when you're doing these exercises. If you need to slow down, that's totally fine. Press through the heels, good. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep that chin up, good. Good work here, press. And last one's always the best one, straight into that bent over delta. Chest up, shoulders back, ready. And press back and pull, and pull. Notice how my toes are coming up. And I want you to match my speed as best as you can here. And I'll walk you through it. So pull the belly button in towards the spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades as if you have a pencil that you're squeezing and pull. So that right there is gonna give you a lot of squeeze. So down, pull, and pull, good. Three, two, one, on the ground for your knee hover. This is also 30 seconds, so we're gonna go bang through this real quick, ready? And press up, so we're going 30 seconds here and holding. So keep those hands underneath your shoulders, big breath, hold this here. Knees stay off the ground, okay? Big breath. So your quads are gonna be burning. Remember, if you need to, come down, take a breath, come up. Hold this, come down, take a breath, and come up. Really, really focus on keeping those quads tight. Four, three, two, and hop up. Boxer bounce. So keep it nice and active. We just had a bunch of exercise. Let's get a little bit of active recovery. Take a big breath in, nice and sweaty. 
I don't want you to pause this. I want you to get all the way through because we're going on the ground next into our Superman swimmers. Big breath here. Kind of like a little bit of a dance around. All right, keep loose. Five, four, three, two, and down on the ground, Superman swimmers. So remember, on your stomach and lifting opposite arm, opposite leg. Really want that connection. And if this is too easy for you, what you can do is lift everything up as if you're swimming. A Little bit harder here, right? If not, opposite arm, opposite leg. Just focus on being as consistent as you possibly can. Good, three, two, one, always the best one. Take a big breath here just for a second. Coming up, pressing back, straight into your squat hold. Ready, three, two, one, and sit and hold. Big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now remember, you're just on the ground, probably with your head down. If you feel lightheaded, stand up, shake it out, take a breath and sit right back down. Good breath here. Focus on pressing through your heels, keeping your toes up off the ground. Three, two, one, right away into angel pumps. So little to no rest. Big breath. Just cause we're doing arms, don't want you to forget about your legs and core. So what am I saying here? A little bit wider than shoulder width, press your heels in and then drive your knees together. Okay, I'm not actually putting my knees together, but I'm firing my inner thighs. I'm pressing my feet together. Good, big breath. Pull on the core. Everything's a core workout with me. Remember, three, two, one, and on the ground. And I want you to stick with me here, okay? I want you to listen to my voice as I rotate through each of these exercises. Hands behind the head, rotate one, two, three, four, knees together, open, close. One, two, three, four, open, close. If that's too hard, I want you to put the, your feet on the ground. Now I want you to open and close like a butterfly, okay? Still really great for the butt. Two, three, four, knees up, open, pull them together, close. Good, three, two, one, always last one's the best one, pull open, close, rotate right over. And we're going 15 seconds on each side here, targeting your butt. Chest up, hands straight under your shoulders, and then lift. So I want you to stay as, as even as possible. So you don't want to be leaning, right? 15 seconds here. I want you to flex your foot backwards for me. That means try to point your toe down, not out, right? And switch sides and up. So you're really focusing on that lower back in that butt here. Taking that big breath, good work. We're gonna go right into our jumping jacks as our cool down, okay? So from here, jumping up, five jumping jacks starting in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Take a big breath, predator jacks, ready? Five of these. One, two, you can always do the step outs. Three, four, five, straight down to plank around the world. So on your elbows here and just rotating. One, two, you're going five each direction. Three, four, five, and then switch. One, two, three, four, five. Take a big breath, push back, reverse push up. Last five, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and then just sit down into this child's pose because that's the workout. We went through the warm up. We did the entire workout, did all the flow down, which you might've thought was really hard, but that was your seven minute at home backyard hit workout. I know you guys are gonna love it and all the other videos. So make sure that you hit subscribe, like this channel, comment, and I will see you on the next video.